Okay, okay. So you just clicked on this video to see why someone would ever hate a place. Well, this place used to be an old, old fish town, which was pretty unknown back in the 60s, and turned into a more tourist kind of place. And I'm gonna give you reasons to why I hate this place and why you, after this video, won't too. So stay tuned for that. Let's, let's set the scene, guys, before we start. You are browsing on Google to find a place where you can bring either your family, friends, girl strip, boy strip, whatever. You come across a Sapona and you're like, wait a second. Why does this place offer everything I need? Mm -hmm. It's super annoying, right? It's perfect fit for the family because it has the best topless place in their world. And also it has heaps of activities that your children can do. Or if you're a cool mom or dad. It's not only for the tapas, it's for the beer, it's for the bars, it's for the coffee shops, it's for the mood. So as a pona, it will definitely be one of the things where you just think to yourself, why does it have everything? It sucks, right? What could possibly be number two to why this place really sucks? Then the second most annoying thing about Esipona is that they have both locals and international people here. Yeah, why not keep it simple and just have like one of them? You get the best of both worlds, as Hannah Montana would have said it. You will definitely find heaps of locals owning stores and restaurants, which is amazing. And then on the other hand, you will find obviously tourists like me and you, but you will also find expats living here which makes this the best place to just vibe with people from everywhere in the world, including the happy locals. So that's amazing, but of course annoying because more people, more trouble, more nationalities. We don't like that, do we? I understand, I understand. Probably by now you're thinking, Sunny, I don't need any more reasons to not go here to Estepona. I'm definitely not going. Well, I'm gonna give you even more facts to why I definitely hate this place, and it's the weather. Yeah, hear me out. It's only 300 sunny days, like nothing more, just 300 days of perfect weather. Meaning the temperature here is pretty much perfect all the time. How convenient? But anyways, we hate that, don't we? Due to this perfect weather all the time and 300 sunny days in a whole year and blah, 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 you can swim in the ocean, whatever you want to. And it's so annoying, isn't it? And everything that Estepona has to offer is a one, almost actually, a one kilometer long beach line where you can pretty much chill the whole day and get a tan. That's the only thing they can do? Is that the best? I get it. Let's move away from the horrible beach that I probably forgot to mention has the best activities for children, older people, young people, cool grandpas. But let's move over to the food, okay? Because Estepona is filled with amazing restaurants, amazing bars, amazing tapas places. And how ridiculous is it not to come home and say, I liked everything on the menu. I liked all the foods in Estepona. I mean, aren't you supposed to hate something? Well, Estepona is the place where you can't really say that you miss homemade food because nothing really beats it. And I mean, for most people, that sucks. So I guess that's one thing that is for sure on the hate list and then you have the drinks i mean how weird is it to actually be able to afford 10 beers when you go out for someone from norway that's not normal at least if you don't you know make a million dollars or want to get bankrupt here in sapona if you go to a pretty good bar you will get a beer for 150 euros with beers being so cheap it's kind of like tacky I mean, we don't like cheap stuff, right? We want to be fancy and cool. So, I mean, when a Stepona is that cheap, I guess that simply just isn't on the list, right? Anyways, let's move over to the next one to why you absolutely will hate this place. It's with the old bad restaurants and the bars. I guess you probably won't hear about that party life in a Zipona. Well, in a Zipona, they just don't keep it simple. They have a bar for everything. They have a rock bar, they have a rooftop bar, they have a dance bar, they have a Spanish dance bar. It's like something that fits for everyone. It's so many different options that is actually just dumb because then how can you choose, right? And it's not like you can just walk in one street and find them all. Oh wait, that's actually what you can do. So if you're tired of the rock bar, you can simply just walk, I don't know, Two minutes down the street and then you're at a completely new place with a completely new vibe. All this option just makes it hard to not enjoy yourself, so it's hard to like not have fun. And when you're on a holiday, you're not supposed to have fun, right? The last reason for why you would hate this place 
and it's the location yes the location of Estepona because maybe you're wondering like where is actually Estepona well it's perfectly placed between Morbea which is a little bit further north with all the fancy clubbing stuff that we like because we don't like tacky cheap beer to 150 and clubs are free entry we hate that and the location has the ocean the beaches they have perfect perfect mountains which you cannot see behind me right here the location just annoyingly perfectly placed if that's even Whoa, something you, you can say about, all you need to do to get from the airport which is probably Malaga for the most of us is to take a you know Uber down here which is like what 80 euros or you can go the even cheaper more tackier more a weird way and that's taking the bus anyways it just sucks that is the Pona it's literally a place where you can have it all have everything right outside of your door steps but i guess i guess that's it that's estepona if you made it this far into the video my only option left for you is to buy those tickets to malaga get your ass down here and experience this horrible place for yourself you will definitely definitely not like it because of all the eight reasons i just gave you right so there you go I love it here.